All right, here we go. So now we've gotten to the, arrived at the fun part. We have our two results from scanning both with structured light in the auto turntable mode and 14 cross clines with laser mode using Metro X. And just a reminder, when you get those two results as you're editing them in the software, make sure when you get to Fusion that you select the same Fusion distance amount. So I did 0.65. So both with cross lines and with structured light auto turntable, it's both set at 65. And then that's all the editing I did. And then after that, I'm gonna merge those two. And then once you merge successfully, then you can continue on with your process of isolation, mesh, and all that good stuff. Also something I wanna bring out that's kinda of interesting is, today we only use Metro X with its two functions to scan the steering wheel. But in reality, if you wanna take the steering wheel and use range, or maybe even pop, or Morocco, you could also scan it with each one of these and then merge those items. The only thing we do not recommend is if you would try scanning this with mini and then with range and then try to merge the two of those results. That would not work just because the point distance mini obviously can get them that much closer ranges for a larger range. So that doesn't make sense. And also if you, if I were to scan this for instance nine times, I could have nine models showing up in the merge area here where it says on the left models, you could have nine models and merge all those together. And then once you have that one successfully, that one successful merged model, you could also scan it even more and continue adding on to those. So it's infinite. For infinity, you can keep on doing it, but it's always just nine at first. Bring that down to one and then add them. All right, so let's get into this. Let's actually try to merge it. I'm gonna try doing for the sake of showing you, I'm gonna do it with just automatic merge, but it's not gonna work. Because of the reason is, there's not enough de details on this steering wheel, but I'll just show you that anyhow. So then after that, we're actually gonna use the manual function, but just for the sake of example, click merge, feature alignment, not enough features, it's all too much the same, generate model, So as you can see here, yeah, it's leaving the bottom part hollow and it's not right. It did not successfully merge it. Like I said, just using feature mode because there's not enough features. But now let's give it a try actually using manual alignment. It takes a little more patience, but we'll get a good result. Let's do it manually. So select merge. We have our two steering wheels right there manual alignment and this just takes a little bit of patience so get it oriented the way you want it and then just select where you want in here so right there I'm going right next to the handlebar itself the handle select there then right here it should take about three then maybe I'll skip one of the handles and do the same So there we go, upper left, and this one would be the upper left right there. And probably with this next one, it'll know where it's at now and align it.
So here we go. The first one, I, the one I just did right there, didn't quite work out. So let me try it again. Zoom in on this a little bit, and I will be able to more clearly see what I'm doing. Right there on the corner there, that's a good spot. Zoom in on this one. You can see a little bit of the corner there, nice. All right, and again, skip one of the handles. This one seems to capture some here. Put a second one right there. Excellent. There, so now it found its spot. So now it's just a matter of generating the model. Nice, look at that. Awesome result. So there's the top of it, flip it around to the other side. Looking great. And of course, later we can still edit it more because I haven't run it through mesh yet to fill in those holes a little bit, but great result. Yes, it was a success. Fantastic. So let's just go over briefly what we went over in this video again. Using Metro X, we started with talking about the accelerated GPU. We saw throughout the video how much easier it was to use Metro X because of that. Capturing the point clouds better, smoother, no lagging, just really nice. Also, with the large turntable, now being able to hook up to the software in auto turntable mode. And made it really nice for scanning a larger item like this steering wheel. And because of that, we were able to use the full structured light, get this surface scanned really well, and then later we flipped it over and used laser function, 14 cross lines in Metro X, and got the other side of the steering wheel. And then we merged those two together. So it's been a fun video. Hope you enjoyed watching. We'll see you next time.